Hey everyone, this is Jet. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Um, we're gonna do another fan art time lapse video and I'm gonna, you know, just discuss my process. As always, you can check out the cool background music at dreamersecho.com. Um, so today's fan art time lapse is going to be from Metal Gear Solid. It's actually a collection of uh, six of my favorite characters from the series and how I sketch them, how I applied line art on it and uh, what references I used and more of my process and techniques like right here you see me sketching in blue ink which is really easy to see if you make it a that layer a little lighter when you're ready to apply the line art over it so that's just one of the many techniques that I apply to my style it makes it a little easier and if you do like these videos, please feel free to hit that like button down there just below the video and subscribe. You're going to see a lot more like this, some art videos. I'm going to do some art live streams of some commissions that I have in my giant stack of commissions I have to get through. Um, but also, we're going to do some music, original music, original tunes, um, and a lot, other, a lot of other cool videos coming your way. So... Please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You guys do so much to help this channel grow, so thank you. Um, so here, I finished the sketch, and as you can see, it's if you're if you're a fan of Metal Gear Solid at all, you'll recognize the the figures. We've got Solid Snake, Big Boss, and Venom Snake. Which, if you haven't played the latest iteration of the, the latest games, there could be some major spoilers here. But you know, if you haven't played it by now, you probably won't play it. So I'm just gonna dive into it. Spoilers ahead. Here we go. The guy on the left there, finishing the line art there, it is Naked Snake, otherwise known as Big Boss from Metal Gear Solid 3. Which, uh, when I was a kid, Metal Gear Solid 3 coming out was a huge, huge hype machine. Um, we were all like, why, why is Snake back in the 1960s or 70s and, and crawling through the grass? Where's all his cool gadgets from the, like the first and second games? What's happening here? Where's Raiden, you know? It was like lore uh, time warp. What was happening? Did he go back in time? But a lot of the big theorists back then were like, oh, it's got to be a prequel. We're going to see Big Boss, the original Snake, in his very first playable missions. And uh, the hype machine just kept churning and churning, and gears were turning. So it was really exciting. So coming back to this and making fan art for Metal Gear Solid, it was just like kind of a, a big dream for me. I wanted to make something that in it that, you know, my skill level could depict some of my favorite characters. Um, and the guy on the right there, you most people recognize that's the solid snake or clone of Big Boss. And uh, yeah, he's kind of like the big flagship mascot for Metal Gear Solid. And all the other iterations of him, it, it, it can get really confusing. It's Kojima lore at its greatest. You've probably heard of him. Uh, Death Stranding hype, by the way. <laughs> Can't wait for that game to come out. I'm, I'm thinking I might make um, some playthrough videos of Death Stranding because a lot of my friends aren't gamers, but they can't wait for this game to come out. So they, they, they've got to watch it somehow, right? I, I'm gonna do this for them, um, but also for me, because I've been waiting for Death Stranding for this long, and once it comes out, I think the rest of my life will pretty much halt. But if I, I have video YouTube. YouTube videos posted at the same time. I'd like to share that with you guys. So here I'm up playing line art. Uh, the guy in the middle on the top, that honestly is my favorite snake. That is Venom Snake. And uh, he was kind of like, and like I said, big spoilers here. He, Venom Snake was, in my opinion, my, the best snake. No, no, he wasn't the best. It was just really cool because Kojima wrote a love letter, uh, kind of a love letter to the fans that Venom Snake is basically us. We play Venom Snake. and and because um, he was kind of like a stand-in for the real Big Boss as Big Boss was doing some stuff in the background. So, yeah, I, I really relate to Venom Snake. Also, Metal Gear Solid V, what he's, he's from, it was my first Metal Gear Solid that I actually picked up on day one, so it was a, it was a cool experience. Um, yeah, I know I sound like a huge gaming nerd right now, but you know what? Deal with it. Gaming is huge, and I can't get enough of it. So here you can see I used some uh, some reference tools, just pictures off of Google image search to, to draw the females on the bottom there. On the left, you'll have Meryl. She's from the original Metal Gear Solid 1 on PlayStation. And uh, it kind of like flip-flop mirrors 
if you look diagonally from the top right to the bottom left, they are the boy and the girl from that Metal Gear Solid game, and then make an X from the top left to the bottom right, you know, opposite, you'll have Naked Snake and the boss, or Big Boss and the boss, from the final duel, and the boss, which is the lady on the bottom right, she's kind of like the mentor for Big Boss and where he got his name, so... And then straight down, you'll have Venom Snake and Quiet. So you kind of have like the, the male and female counterparts uh, and a, a slash in the middle dividing them. So I kind of wanted to create kind of like a, I don't know, like a mirror flip-flop concept. And I always try to make some interesting concept or design, you know, layout uh, composition for each of my prints just to make it interesting. Um, and I feel like a diagonal slash in the middle is really eye-catching. So now, after all the line art, we're applying some basic flat colors with a little bit of shading. Skin is one of the most difficult things to draw, in my opinion. Um, to color, to uh, formulate some sort of skin tone that matches real skin tone, or even the video game skin tone, is really challenging. Speaking of challenging, oh my god, drawing that... Uh, the bionic arm from Metal Gear Solid 5 is way more difficult than creating the cosplay counterpart. Yeah, you've probably seen the cosplay DIY video I've made where I create the foam version um, of that arm, but drawing it is a pain, so I definitely had to bring in some resources and copy those to get all the mechanics right. And uh, uh, shout, like a little, a little Easter egg here, if you see his, his hand in a V shape like that, that hand in a v-shape it's kind of like hideo kojima's um easter egg connecting v as in the shape of roman, roman numeral 5 metal gear solid 5 and v venom snake v has come to it's when he wakes up and the mission starts your game starts so a lot of throwbacks there i always try and hide a little bit of easter eggs in my prints as well it's always more fun um yeah and you saw me add some battle damage to big boss on the left there because uh, he goes through some shit in that video. <laughs> I, I mean, in that game, I must say. Um, yeah, so we, w we wanted to make it kind of like the all, all the spectrum. You've got the battle damaged warrior, and on the right, you've got the new blood, and then in the middle, he's kind of in between, just thrown in, in the middle. He's got the battle damage from uh, ground zeros, and then he's also kind of the new warrior, because it's, it's, yeah, another spoiler. It's not really Big Boss, it's Venom Snake, and it's. It's um, the medic, yeah, huge spoiler. So here you see me adding some different kind of skin tones to each character because um, you know each character had spent a different amount of time in the sun and uh, you'll see Meryl's kind of a little paler than Quiet because Quiet gets her energy from the sun and the water and the atmosphere. So um, yeah, what else we gotta talk about here? Oh yeah, adding the colors to um, Venom Snake's uh, camo. That was fun. Oh man, I had a lot of fun uh, coloring Venom Snake's camo and his uh, scarf thing. I know there's a word for it. I can't really think of it. Um, but yeah, that, that was really fun. Um, here we are adding some more color to the hairs. Uh, a lot of people have noticed that I do skin tones first because I want to get most of the, the, the challenging parts out of the way uh, when I'm making my art color when I'm a applying color to my art, um, it can be really challenging to do skin and hair. So those are usually the two I tackle first. Okay, and then I just have fun with the rest. I'm still kind of learning skin and hair tones and shades and and uh, light effects. And this is one of my older prints. So the skin and hair tones were very kind of amateur, but <laughs> I, I've learned a lot in the last few months, even, even the few weeks. So, looking back on this print, which I think I created back in uh, February or March of 2019, looking back on my my techniques, I've noticed how much I've grown, and that's always a good feeling as an artist or a creator of any format or medium. Um, so yeah, adding the colors to the characters is always the most challenging part to me. I, I honestly, I hate it at times. And skin and hair challenging clothes very challenging um battle damage like you see in big boss in the top left that oh man i actually like that part <laughs> i must say adding the scars and making them feel hurt or even the makeup on um the makeup effect the eyeshadow on quiet in the middle 
Um, adding the effects over top is one of my favorite parts. Um, so one thing I wanted to point out that I, I just came up with last second, I knew I wanted to have that diagonal slash dividing the, the group, the groups, but what would I use? I wanted to make it, you know, canon and, uh, pun intended, canon, exactly. It's kind of like a railgun shot, which in Metal Gear Solid, uh, the namesake, Metal Gear, the giant robot, robots always have a new weapon that you have to try and stop, like nukes or um, giant cannons or, um, in this case, a railgun, which is a, just a powerful shot of lightning. So I used, oh yeah, and here you see a lot more brush effects. Um, the railgun was based on a brush effect with a light brush, which actually emits kind of a light effect. And you'll see later I add a lightning effect over that, which is actually a ripple water brush. But it, if you do it in the right color, it looks like lightning. So then you'll see the railgun come to being. Yeah. And I, added, I always add cool light effects to everything at the end just to make it feel more, you know, realistic. And you see me messing with the saturation a little bit. And here's the, the final product is coming. Yeah. I was really happy with that. And it sells really well to... Anyone kind of cosplaying as a Metal Gear character at cons, they really love it. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's ever backed me on Kickstarter and especially my amazing patrons on Patreon. Check me out at patreon.com slash jetfalco. You guys are so cool and I appreciate all the support. So I hope to post more of these videos more often and you'll see a lot more different you know, varying content in the next few months, few years. Um, but yeah, lots of videos to come. So some of these people have really cool art. So if you want to search them, um, they have comics of their own. But uh, for now, I'm Jet Falco. Thank you so much for checking this video out. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you guys.